Welcome to today's presentation. Um, the, our presentation today is about leveraging surveillance-based reporting tools for improving HIV health outcomes. My name is Faisal abdel -Khadr. I'm an information systems and quality analyst in the care and treatment program in the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. So this is um, just a disclosures. So at the conclusion of this activity, participants will be able to identify at least two ways in which integrated reports based on merge programmatic and surveillance data can be used by agencies to track progress and recognize opportunities for improvement with regard to their clients' HIV health outcomes. Um, number two is understand how specific refinements to aggregate surveillance-based reporting tools, including enhanced data visualization, can make them more informative and actionable for health services, services agency administrators, and staff members in pursuit of 90-90-90 targets. And finally, participants will be able to describe how viral suppression trends and between group comparisons can be used to monitor health disparities and develop tailored interventions to engage vulnerable client populations. So today's agenda, the presentation will be divided into four main parts with parts two and three taking up the majority of our session. Uh, we are going to start by going over a quick overview of the Ryan White Part A program in the New York eligible metropolitan area. Um, then we're going to dive into the agency level viral suppression report or ABSR by going over what is the ABSR, redesigning the ABSR, some key definitions, comparing the old versus new report formats, and then looking at figure interpretations. After that, we are going to um, go over the 2018 ABSR results, and then wrap up our session by talking about the report's uses and limitations. So to start, let's um, go over briefly uh, what the Ryan White Part A program in the New York eligible metropolitan area looks like. So the New York uh, eligible metropolitan area, or EMA, is comprised of the five boroughs of New York City, and the tri-county region of Putnam, Rockland, and Westchester counties, as you can see on the map on the right. The grantee of the Ryan White Party program in the New York EMA is the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, or DOHMH, um, and specifically it's the care and treatment program within DOHMH that is the grantee. The Ryan White Prade program provides a comprehensive system of care that includes primary medical care and essential support services for people living with HIV who are uninsured or underinsured. These services are supported by technical assistance, clinical training, and contract monitoring. Uh, the program funds nearly 90 community-based organizations, hospitals slash health centers, and other types of agencies through approximately 150 contracts. Um, it serves approximately 14,000 people living with HIV annually in the New York EMA. The composition of that uh, group tends to be 90% um, of the local Ryan White Prade client population identify as Black or Hispanic slash Latino or Latina. 44% uh, are 50 years uh, old or older. 65% are male and 72% are recipients of Medicaid. Um, here's a list of all Ryan White Part A service categories that are provided in the New York EMA that range from the AIDS Drug Assistance Program or ADAP to food and nutrition services, non-medical case management, legal services, mental health services, among many others. And these include service categories that are provided in Tri-County and also New York City. So for Ryan White Part A service providers, viral suppression is a critical measure of client progress, but laboratory data um, access and analytic capacity can vary widely among agencies receiving, uh, providing those services. Um, we wanted to develop a tool that can provide agencies with a way to look at their um, clients' viral suppression progress and HIV health outcomes in the context of viral suppression across the entire Ryan White Part A client population in New York City 
by utilizing surveillance-based data sources, um, which they may, may or may not have complete access to, in order to provide these agencies a more accurate um, look about on their viral, <clears throat> their viral data um, for their clients. And that is where the agency level viral suppression report comes in. So the, the AVSR is an annual report produced by the Karen Creamy program that assesses the proportion showing viral suppression um, among clients newly enrolled in New York City Ryan White Part A funded programs within a calendar year. It provides an aggregate HIV surveillance-based snapshot of viral suppression, comparing Ryan White Part A clients at a specific agency to the entire New York City Ryan White Part A client population over a three-year period. Uh, clients are included in the report um, on a very basic client inclusion criteria, which uh, states that they should have received at least one Ryan White Part A service within the report year. This report draws on enrollment service uh, draws on enrollment services and demographic data entered into um, eShare or the Electronic System for HIV AIDS Reporting and Evaluation, um, and also draws on viral load data to measure viral suppression from the New York City HIV Surveillance Registry, alternatively referred to as the registry. So we are able to use HIV surveillance data because data from eShare and the registry are combined to get viral load information for Ryan White, the Ryan White Party clients that we serve. In 2019, AVSR was redesigned to improve its utility and provide additional cuts or breakdowns of viral suppression data. The new AVSR is comprised of three figures that were developed in Tableau for enhanced data visualizations. The new report format includes viral suppression breakdowns among, um, among additional client subgroups, and these include clients newly enrolled in Ryan White Part A services um, versus clients already established in services. And the new report also include, uh, include includes breakdowns among five priority populations that were informed by DOHMH's race to justice initiatives and local epidemiology to advance racial equity and social justice. These priority populations include the following, older people living with HIV, black or Latino cisgender men who have sex with men or MSM, young cisgender MSM, transgender women and cisgender women of color. So let's define some key terms used in the report format before we start looking at some of the figures and how the report is used. Um, for viral suppression, we define this as having a viral load lab test with a value of less than 200 copies per, per milliliter. Um, clients with no viral load test results during the year were considered unsuppressed. And then we have uh, viral suppression among our client subgroups. So newly enrolled is defined as the baseline viral suppression proportion for clients who enrolled for the first time or re-enrolled in Ryan White Party funded programs during the report year. This baseline vir viral load measure uses, used is the viral load test closest to the client's enrollment date. And we picked the closest uh, test date within six months on either side of that enrollment date to be the baseline measure. Established in services, this represents the viral suppression proportion based on the last viral load test in the second half of the report year among clients with an uninterrupted open enrollment from the prior year who also received at least two services that were uh, 120 days or more apart during the year. And by prior year here, we mean um, the the prior year being the reporting year for the AVSR, not the year from which the enrollment um, carried over. So a quick note about these two about these two groups, the categories of newly enrolled and established in services are mutually exclusive, but they are not mutually exhaustive of all clients at the agency, meaning that adding the then uh, the number of eligible clients from the two groups will not account for the total clients at the agency. Our goal with creating these two groups was to offer different ways of looking at viral suppression in addition to assessing uh, viral suppression for all clients at a specific agency. Rather than categorizing all clients into additive 
groups. So some clients will fall into newly enrolled, some clients will fall into established and services, um, while others will fall into neither, but are still captured in the um, agency-wide viral suppression. So before we look at how the AVSR was redesigned, let's take a look at the previous AVSRs that had the old report format. These reports were last released in 2017 with um, viral suppression data covering 2014 to 2016. They compared agency results in the blue bar to all New York City Ryan White Party clients in the green bar for each of those years. They consisted of only one figure, as you see here on the slide, and they presented no demographic data whatsoever. So in redesigning the AVSR, we included three figures that expanded on the kind of information conveyed in the existing format to be comprised of the following three figures. Figure one displays viral suppression among newly enrolled and established in services clients. And again, these represent non-overlapping subgroups of clients as previously mentioned for the most recent calendar year or report year. Figure two displays viral suppression among the five identified priority populations, um, also for the most recent report year. And then figure three displays, a viral, displays the viral suppression comparison between agency-specific clients and the entire New York City wide Part A client population over a three-year period for the last three report years. So now let's take a look at um, how these figures look like and how we can interpret them. The first figure in the AVSR is comprised of three bars showing the percentage of those virally suppressed on the y-axis among different client subgroups represented on the x-axis. So we have cl clients agency-wide, so that's all, cl all clients at the agency who are eligible for the uh, report uh, represented by the red bar, and then we have clients newly enrolled in the orange bar, and then clients established in services in the blue bar as we previously defined them. On each bar, you have the percentage of clients in that group who are classified as virally suppressed. Eligible represents all clients who belong to that group who also fit the broader inclusion criteria. So they received at least one service in, 20, in 2018 in this example. So for example, in the, if we look at the newly enrolled bar, that's the orange bar in the middle, um, we have 738 clients were considered to be newly enrolled based on our definition. Um, and then of those 632 or 85.6% were considered suppressed. And that, that way of reading the report applies to the two other columns. Generally, we can expect clients who are established in services to show better viral suppression and higher viral suppression than newly enrolled clients because they have spent more time in Ryan White Party services at the agency. And so their outcomes are somewhat within, more within the control of the agency than the outcomes of newly enrolled clients, um, since the agency has had more time to address their needs and barriers. However, not all um, agencies bear out that expectation. And we will look at, look at that um, in the next section of the presentation when we go over the results from the 2018 um, AVSRs. Figure two of the AVSR consists of six bars showing the percentage of clients virally suppressed agency-wide, that's in the red bar, so that's the same value from the figure one, and then a viral suppression among our five priority populations, older people living with HIV, Black or Latino cisgender MSM, young cisgender MSM, transgender women, and cisgender women of color. The priority population um, categories here do not account for all clients at the agencies, nor are they, nor are all, are all of them mutually exclusive from one another. Clients can be classified in as many priority populations for which they fit the definition. So for example, a client can be represented in both older people living with HIV and, tra and transgender women, or Black or Latino cisgender MSM and young cisgender MSM. However, a client cannot count in both older people living with HIV and young cisgender MSM. So those two groups would be mutually exclusive. And, this, and, the, and the numbers on, this, um, on these bars are interpreted in the exact same way as the previous figure that we went through. 
The third and last figure in the new AVSR consists of three pairs of bars over a three-year period for the overall client population, clients newly enrolled, and clients established in services. So the third figure is basically a more complex for version of figure one um, because it adds the comparison between uh, the comparison in viral suppression between the entire New York City Ryan White Part A population um, and the agency's viral, client's viral suppression over a three-year period. So the blue bar in each pair represents viral suppression among the agency's clients, um, and the orange bar represents viral suppression among all eligible New York City Ryan White Part A clients. The N under each uh, the N under each uh, pair represents the number of eligible clients at the level of the agency only. Um, so let's take a look at interpreting uh, one, of the, one of these pairs. So um, if you look at the 2017 panel in the middle, the number of eligible clients um, under newly enrolled was 842 at agency X. 87% of those clients were virally suppressed. That's the blue bar, compared to 47% of all New York City Ryan White Part A clients newly enrolled in 2017, and that's the orange bar. So now that we have looked at how to interpret each figure, we can look at some of the results from the 2018 AVSRs that were released to um, New York City agencies last summer in 2019. The AVSR, like I mentioned, is distributed annually by the DOHMH HIV Care and Treatment um, Program within the Bureau of HIV to all New York City agencies funded for Ryan White Part A programs. The 2018 AVSRs were distributed to providers in July 2019. They included an updated report user document. They went out to 65 agencies and, present, uh, and presented data covering 2016 to 2018. Um, the report user document um, basically explains the report's background, data sources, key definitions, how to read and interpret the figures, much like we have been um, going through in, in this presentation. And then the AVSR is also used by quality management specialists from the Care and Treatment Program to work with agencies um, as part of ongoing technical assistance efforts by looking at, client, at the overall client's um, health outcomes when it comes to viral, viral suppression. So the, when we look at viral suppression in the entire New York City Ryan White Party population for 2018 by client subgroups, we, so again, this, is re, this represents all New York City clients in all New York City agencies, um, we see that overall 79% um, of New York City Ryan White Party clients are virally suppressed. 75% uh, uh, were virally suppressed for clients newly enrolled. And then 85% for clients established in services were, viral, were considered virally suppressed. Um, and so these, these are the results uh, they're, they're based on data from the 65 agencies um, for whom a report was generated and, and, and sent. Um, so keep these numbers in mind as a reference as we look at the distribution of viral suppression values by each of these groups among the 65 agencies who received an AVSR for that year. So to begin, this graph shows the distribution of viral suppression across all New York City Ryan White Part A agencies for clients overall. So this is for all clients at the agency. From this graph, we notice that in their overall Ryan White Part A client population, most agencies had a viral suppression between 70 to 80 percent, which makes sense because as we saw, the Ryan White Part A wide viral suppression for all New York City uh, Ryan White Part A clients falls at 79%. So at the on the x on the y axis you see that the number of agencies most most of them of the 65 who received the report for their overall clients they fell between 70 and 80%. Next we can look at the distribution of viral suppression um, values across all New York City all, again across all New York City Ryan White Part A agencies for 
clients newly enrolled. So among Ryan White Part A clients newly enrolled, agencies showed a wider distribution of viral suppression values compared to clients overall in the previous slide, and as we'll see, compared to clients established in services. So they've, the clients, Ryan White Party clients newly enrolled varied in the viral suppression that they showed at those agencies. For the distribution of viral suppression values in Ryan White Party clients established in services, most agencies showed higher viral suppression, so greater than 80% of their established clients uh, were virally suppressed compared to clients overall and clients newly enrolled. And again, that sort of fits with the expectation that clients who are established in services have had, agencies have had more time to address their needs, so they tend to show um, higher viral suppression. As I mentioned previously, we have this expectation of established in services having a higher viral suppression than clients newly enrolled. Uh, because these are clients who spent more time receiving Ryan White Party services. Um, however, when we compare viral suppression between these two client subgroups uh, for the 65 agencies, we see that for most agencies, so 52 represented by blue in this pie chart, um, viral suppression was higher among clients established in services, as we expect. Um, and then in Teal, we have four agencies who did not have clients who qualified as new or established, so they were excluded from this comparison. This can happen when an agency may not have served clients long enough um, and consistently enough to be classified as established, but they may be also enrolling clients who lack a viral load test within the required time frame to count as a baseline viral load to be classified as new. So they they didn't have one group or the other, so we wouldn't include them in this in this comparison. That applied to four agencies. Um, but however, in red, we see that for nine agencies of the 65, viral suppression among clients established in services was lower than um, viral suppression um, in newly enrolled clients. Um, and that may warrant looking into and trying to figure out why is it that for these nine agencies, um, their established in services uh, viral suppression is lower than the uh, newly enrolled viral suppression, going against that expectation that these clients had had more time, but why is it that they are showing um, less, uh, a lower viral suppression than those who are just enrolling in Ryan White Part A programs? We can also summarize uh, viral sum suppression among the priority populations across all New York City Ryan White Party clients. Again, this is only for 2018, um, and we can compare them to the uh, Ryan White Party wide uh, viral suppression of 79%. Um, as we can see, uh, viral suppression percentages among priority populations were all roughly around the overall viral suppression. Um, older people living with HIV, young cisgender MSM and cisgender women of color show a higher viral suppression um, compared to all Ryan White Part A clients, while Black or Latino cisgender MSM and transgender women had a lower viral suppression compared to all Ryan White Part A clients. So now we can, after we talked about how to interpret the report and what the redesign looked like, we can um, touch on the report uses and limitations. So the AVSR, especially with the redesign, can be used to understand viral suppression trends for an agency clients as they compare to the larger New York City Ryan White Part A client population over time. And that's something that the original report with the, with the old format was trying to, was trying to capture. Um, but also with the redesign, the AVSR can help agencies monitor health disparities among priority populations that we have identified and also um, assess the extent to which agencies are engaging the, the most vulnerable client subgroups, whether that be at the over uh, the different priority populations or even clients newly enrolled or established in services. Um, and then um, the report can also be useful for reflecting on progress and supporting viral suppression among established uh, clients, which I mentioned agencies would have more control over 
um, the outcomes of the of that of that group as opposed to the clients who are just um, classified as newly enrolled. However, the AVSR is not without its limitations. Um, as I mentioned, the AVSR gives a snapshot of viral suppression and is not um, because it's just an aggregate one point in time snapshot of viral suppression um, and is not primarily intended as a tool to evaluate performance. Um, engagement in YNY Part A services is only one of many factors that can influence a client's viral suppression status. Um, so the AVSR is not service category specific. It measures it across all clients at an agency um, who can have varying um, outcomes based on what services they're receiving and on other external factors. Um, the Ryan Y Part A clients who reside or receive medical care outside of New York City um, may not have a viral load in the registry because that represents only New York City um, residents. Uh, and this is why the uh, because we are pulling um, data from the New York City HIV uh, registry, we cannot produce an AVSR for tri-county agencies. They tri-county clients would look as unsuppressed simply because their viral load test results are in another data source that are that is not in the a New York City HIV surveillance registry. And comparison, um, and then finally, a comparison of an agency to all New York City Ryan White Part A includes all Ryan White Part A service categories, even those um, not funded at the agency of interest. Um, so the, the AVSR has, has a lot of uses, but, but at the same time, um, a, a, few drawback, a few drawbacks, but we, we, of all the tools that are provided to these agencies, we hope that the AVSR can, can help them look at their clients differently and assess their clients' health outcomes by utilizing um, surveillance data uh, that can capture more accurate viral load information, which they may otherwise not have complete access to. I'd like to um, give a few acknowledgements to my colleague, colleagues in the care and treatment program. So uh, Jacinth Thomas, Jennifer Carmona, Graham Harriman, Sarah Bronstein, and Mary Irvine. Um, and thank you. I'm happy to take any questions now.